Previously on Steins Gate. <laughs> and now back to fucking up history. Hello! This is Nico B. Back with some more Steins Gate. We last left off, we, uh. <laughs> Had a very interesting uh, exchange with Lukaku <laughs> as he showed off his fucking manly, sexy thighs. Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> but he also told us that he would also like to become a girl if possible. So now we're going to see if we can't do that using our phone magic. And I think this is probably where shit's going to start going crazy. Because come on. This is like, we're, we're talking about, this is like changing someone's entire life. I mean... I don't know. I mean, I mean, assuming we're successful. I don't know what they, I feel like these guys don't think ahead very well. Like, I mean, there's a good chance that we won't even meet this person if they, like, I mean, it's gonna change their whole life. Maybe they won't come live here anymore, you know? Or we won't meet them under certain circumstances or something, you know? I feel like we're, we're just like, like, okay, well, we're gonna make her a girl. I'm not gonna think about all this stuff that could happen between now and then, you know? But, uh, all right. I don't know. Then again, just having someone Having someone's mom eat, like, more vegetables or whatever it was, I'm just like, I really wonder if that's really going to do it, you know? I'm sure this is going to have some unintended consequences, right? Like, it won't change, it won't change him a girl, but something else is going to happen. Uh, I'm allergic to vegetables, and she dies or something, a horrible thing like that. Uh, about 22 hours have passed since I made my mind-blowingly awesome proclamation. Hello. Luca enters the lab shyly, just seated yesterday. He gives me a bashful smile when our eyes meet. <laughs> no penis, bad penis. M Mom had a pager. Yay, that's great, Luca Goon. Now we can proceed with the experiment. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? <laughs> oh, we can send their pagers, pagers numbers. How will we be able to convince someone to eat more vegetables? <laughs> Try to do like a little, like use emojis to be, look like, uh, make a little Pac-Man and then have him eating dots and then we'll just have to hope she figures it out from there. <laughs> look at she's girl version. We'll definitely be Moe. Oh, my penis can't wait. Ah, Mira and Chris and are already on standby. They are super fucking ready for this. Sending an email to a pager. Yesterday we argued about whether it's even possible. Eventually we sell it on probably. <laughs> data is data after all. The rest depends on the, pa the page or radio wave stations eight years ago, but it should be fine as long as our data gets through safely. We already Googled how to send data to a pager. For the pagers back then, you would first enter the other person's pager number, then if in the counter region, enter uh, asterisk two, asterisk two. After that, you would you would enter the numbers to send. That's how it worked, apparently. Pagers 1992 can only send numbers. Phone displays functions were also yet to be implemented, so your numbers were... Your number was hidden from the other person by default. Ah, so they'll just receive a number and then they won't act like know who it's from, I guess. Few years after that, Pager started to implement Japanese character displays enabling functionality similar to that of an email. There therefore, the email L Lukaku is about to send is technically not a mail, though. Has to, it has to be sent in numerical form. Naturally, I, naturally, I have a conversation co conversion table for that on hand. You can find information even from 18 years ago if you just Google it. Th thanks, Google. I was pretty worried by the lack of information on pagers at first, but that's that's my little secret. Ushibara, Ushibara, son, you need to think about what to, to send to your mother in the past. Eh, I do. If you want to grant your wish, then you must open the door with your own hands. We can only show you the way. I understand. Well, explain to Kaku the function of the phone wave notes interchange. <laughs> I think he's never gonna change that name, is he? The numbers we're sending up one are one byte characters, so we can send 36 of them. The pages, the pages numbers to letter conversion use two numbers to correspond to one Japanese letter. Furthermore, since you first need to input hashtag two hashtag two, that means you can only send 16 hiragana characters. Lukaku, understanding everything, takes out a notebook to begin writing drafts for the paper message. I show Lukaku the site I found. It reads page number and letter conversion. Um. Pager typing is commonly known as two touch typing or pager input. Somewhat different from cell phone input, you choose this consonant, then put the vowel. Who the balls? Oh my god, first, what is it? 
<laughs> Size of increasing your strength. <laughs> oh no! He escaped! Yeah! He, if we don't find him, kill, kill him, Miss Fortune will fall upon a keyboard! Yeah! His name is the end of tutorial. He's small and nimble, and he cries. Choo choo! Yeah! <laughs> Come here! Quick! Ferris needs your help! Yeah! I, I can help, but it won't be cheap. <laughs> Fine! I will come help you. I will come save you, Ferris, from yourself. The consonants are A K S T N H M Y R W. Vowels are A I E or A I U E O. Who writes it that way? Who writes vowels that way? A E I O U, not A I O E U A A E U E U A A. Bing bang, 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 bang. Basically, to put input K E, you press two to input the consonant K. Then you press four to for the vowel E. Right. Oh, I see, okay, okay. Okay, so. So we're gonna send it. Wait, but how are they gonna interpret the mail, right? The the number, is the, is the pager actually, I'm pretty sure pagers only display uh, numbers, right? Does it actually display a uh, message as well if you, I know on the older phones for like, you had to actually, it was, it was a real pain in the ass to type in like a message, you had to like, like tap a number like multiple times just to get the stupid thing to get the right letter you wanted. This is a pain. Let's just send A three one A three one A three one. That should do it. Why A three one? Uh, eight ya three sa one e one i for veggies ya si da veggies veggies veggies. We just have to drill this into Luca she's mother's brain. So just pass that message off as a prank. Then how about do not, do not, do not, do not, do not? I'm going to regret asking this, but what does that mean? Uh... Need to cool nine for meat, 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 meat. <laughs> Why do you want her to like meat? That's not it. If you keep repeating meat, then she'll actually start to hate meat and want to eat vegetables instead, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, no. no. <laughs> Kago completes his composition while we speak our nonsense. <laughs> How about something like this? Mom, eat veggies, okay? Isn't that a little too vague? And the first mom should go. That'll just make it harder to believe. Then eat lots of veggies to give birth to a girl. That's a little too direct, and it's over the character limits. Eat veggies for a healthy kid. Wait a second. According to this conversation chart, it looks like you gotta use two more numbers for voice, voice consonants. So that sentence is four bytes over. Then a little modification. How about eat veg for healthy kid? Isn't that a little too informal? You're talking to Arisha Shabara, mother's uh, mother's I, I always find some of these ones like it's like uh, something Shabara. Those always get me. I don't know why. Arisha Shabara son's mother. You know, would you understand the veg for veg for part? Do you have any bright ideas? Arisha shrugs her shoulders and says no more. Then it's settled. Come on, let's type it out. When saying to a pager, the number encoded message is handled like a telephone, so we enter the in enter the input into the X68000. Long random looking string of numbers is complete. All right, we're good to go. Now we just activate the phone wave and there's a change and have Lukaku call. Microwave is set, set to, oh my God. <laughs> uh, 154,152 seconds. It should arrive around January 1st, 1993. The margin of error is around one to three days, I guess. Leap year calculations a pain, so I ignored it. <laughs> I was like, ah, fuck it. Guys, thunder fingers start to tremble on the enter button. Ready? I'm starting it up. Ah! <laughs> Kago looks at me with tears in his eyes and nods faintly. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> that penis better be gone by the time this is done. <laughs> the discharge phenomenon soon occurs. Kago flinches and takes a step back, and I see the termination flare in his eyes. He says his jaw and pushes the enter button. <laughs> what? A wave it isn't assist me again. How the divergence actually went down. I just noticed I noticed that last time, like when we had the, the when the change from uh we did like one change, it actually like the la the last one we did before this, it actually went down slightly from like 5.7 to 5.4, and now it went down even more to like 4.45 or something. And so it's actually getting so this divergence is actually getting closer to what uh, I believe is uh, 
uh, the future that John Teeter has seen, right? The higher the divergence, so up to 1.0 divergence, I, or maybe even higher than that, That would, that's like totally different from uh, John Teeter's future, I think. Interesting. Well, you Disney hits me again. I place a hand on the table to support myself. Blah! Disney slowly fades. Little by little, color returns to the world. <laughs> you do realize also that, again, no one else can remember, so if he really does turn to a girl, it's not going to change for anybody else. Everyone else is going to be like, He's always been that way. <laughs> Ring Steiner activated again. The world line change. Look around the room. Unlike what happened to Moeka, Lukaku's still here. Oh, okay. He blushes when he notices my stare. Um, okay, akabe san could you please not look at me like that? Huh? <laughs> Fold my arms and tilt my head. Like his appearance hasn't changed a bit. I'm paying particular attention to his chest. His chest. It's, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and the bulge in his pants. This guy, it's natural for him to have no breasts. But if he's a girl now, that's a, then that's a different story. That's That washboard isn't tiny breast level, it's no breast level. It didn't work? So they eat lots of vegetables give, to give birth to a girl, a thing Carissa talked about was nothing but French science. What kind of scientist believes in a flimsy theory anyway? Or maybe she just didn't listen to it. What did What didn't work? Everyone including Lukaku looks at me in confusion. Oh, great. Here we go again. This is getting old. Don't you remember? Just now we used the phone. Wait, we need such a change, too. I stop my hand over my mouth as soon as I start talking. That was careless of me. So previous experiments proved the activation of reading Steiner means that the world line has changed. And I'm the only one who carries his memories through the change. Nobody else here knows what, he, what we did. Sorry, it's nothing. Afterwards, Mary and Lukaku go happily go out sh shopping for a... For lunch at neighborhood convenience store. Christina, I want to ask you something. It's Lukaku. Lukaku. What pervy act are you going to... Are you thinking about this time? Can't be too careful around the perv, the perv duo. We're not a perv duo. We are pervy. Pervy gentlemen duo. <laughs> whatever. Seriously, whatever. My, damn, I can't ask now. It's really annoying that no one remembers. <laughs> I don't want to think about how crazy my react if I suddenly ask. Is Lukaku a girl? Should wait until I can get Lukaku alone and check that. <laughs> hey, Lukaku, don't mind me. <laughs> Cut my hands around his balls. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, still a guy. <laughs> Considering how his appearance hasn't changed at all, it's very likely this exchange failed. In that case, what did Lukaku's email change? It's just like the Mueka experiment. The result is different from what we expected. The real problem is that we have no control. After I leave the lab, I head to Mir May Queen... Plus Neon Square, to think. Darius is in front of me, basically waiting for Fer Ferris to bring her order. Darius, what do you think about D-Mail? It's cool, but it's kind of lame at the same time. What's lame about it? I couldn't use it to win my my Rhinet match against Ferris Tan. Now that's a selfish reason. Okay, so well, that's still the same then. So our experiments have shown D-Mail has, still hasn't reached a reliable level of precision. A true time machine must remove luck from the equation. The phone waiting such change is useless unless we can somehow give the sender more control. For stars, there's a problem of how I'm the only one who can recognize the changes. With my, without my special power, we wouldn't even be able to check the results of the experiments. Ridiculous. Yeah, we aren't getting results. What about the lot of six? Pending. Although it was Lukaku's mistake that cost us the prize, he wouldn't have been in a position to make that mistake if I hadn't asked him to buy the ticket in my stead. Why did I do that? It's as if Steins Gate guided the money away from my grasp. I could totally see him doing that. He would get, I mean, come on. Imagine him, imagine Okabe here getting that message. He'd be like, what the hell is this? Is this the Wheel of, Wheel of Steins Gates or some weird organization, uh, organization's uh, objective against me or something like that? Like, Lakako, I have a mission for you. I, and, you know, have pass it on to someone. I can totally see him doing that. No, I think you think positive. Yo, I will not let this keep him down. I won't give up, for I am a mad scientist. I don't understand what you're saying, but you sure seem confident about it. Uh, oh, my Ferris message is gone too. So what was the point of me even getting that message? It didn't change anything. Uh, Miri, I saw him. Wow, well, remember how I, we were talking about Joy Sound before? Well, I just saw him on the street. The real, the real thing. I've got to shake his hand. Wait, what? Joy Sound? What are you talking about? Who's Joyce on? An assassin for the organization. 
Is this one of the changes? Someday we will improve the phone way you need such a change so that it may be used to send things not only to the past, but also to the future. We'll improve it. No, we must improve it. But well, that is the choice of Steins Gate. Mwah! A time machine? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god! My penis senses are tingling. Ferris standing right next to me. Where the hell did she come from? <laughs> I've been sniffing the back of your head and yeah. Damn you, Ferris! He's dropping his cowardly. What do you mean your voice is so loud it echoes throughout the whole store, Nya? Yeah. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> Once again, I leak classified information concerning the future of mankind. Here's your iced coffee and your iced tea cat food. Thanks for waiting, Nya! Tomorrow's order of cat food is one of the main cafe specialties. Not the usual miso over rice, but stylish risotto instead. It's one of Tomorrow's favorites. It's actually pretty tasty. Ferris places the iced co coffee in front of me. Do you want milk and syrup and syrup, yeah? <laughs> Never! <laughs> Akilma's gonna be like the outboard all in ya. You need sugar for a healthy brain, ya. So my refusal, Ferris pours all the milk and syrup in my glass. No! Then it's being some nonsense incantation, you mix my iced coffee with the straw. The whole time she's staring straight at my eyes. Into my very soul. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Dramatic zoom in on Dara's like, oh! There it is. Ferris time secret technique. Eye contact. Mix, mix. Oh, oh, oh. No one can resist the kawaii. Dara starts, starts explaining excitement. Most mates can't do it without spilling a little. Yeah, Ferris time makes it look easy. That's why I love her. Please. Because of the secret technique that Ferris time reigns supreme as May Queen's number one maid. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't pay any attention to Guys coughing the glass changes from black to brown. Damn, she's dragging me into her, into her pace again. Next, Ferris forms the same secret technique on Daru. Thank you, Ferris Don. I'll be sure to savor it. He bows deeply. Such a polite man. Such a horny man. I think he's, he, I think he's up by the iced coffee. His bitterness and sweetness flow down my throat. Mm. When I look up, I see Ferris standing next to me. Her silver tray in front of her waist. Do you need something? I want to hear the rest, Nya. Kiyoma and Dara, Nya, we're having a fun little chit chat, Nya. Something about a time machine? <laughs> Ferris, Ferris really wants to hear, Nya. She gave me a baby just look with upturned eyes. And I firmly reject her. <laughs> stop secret, not for outsiders. I really should stop. <laughs> really need to stop talking so loudly to everything. And who's big mouth let the whole story, that whole story hear, Nya? <laughs> 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 Tell Ferris, Jarunya. <laughs> she like pushes her head right back. <laughs> I knew it's just, oh, she's targeting Dara now. Oh my God, I can feel her breath on my shoulder. Mm. Don't underestimate him, Ferris. Ferris, now on ya. Oh, I was my most trustworthy right-hand man, the wizard class super hacker. He won't be tricked into divulging classified information. <laughs> we built an amazing time, amazing machine that can send emails to the past. I did most of the work, of course. I'm amazing. You're awesome. I love you. Please make babies with me. And he's broken. <laughs> Women are scary. <laughs> is that a t is that a time machine, yeah? I guess I guess you could say that. Wow, you're awesome, yeah. Your big brain makes my heart race, yeah. Y y you mean it? Now I'm embarrassed. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. dumbass. What's, what's with that grin? Ferris dreams of going on a journey through time, ya. Yeah. I'll bring you along someday. No, oh, don't make promises you can't keep. By the way, it's been bugging me, but what, what is time anyway, ya? Yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> time is often compared to a river, ya, yeah, falling, flowing for past the future. But is that really how it is, ya? Yeah? If time is a river, then where's the present, ya? Yeah? Is it a point? Is it a line? Where's the present beginning and end, ya? Yeah? I you mentioned I only have a vague concept of time. Never really gave it any thought. The present is a leaf floating on a river. It moves along with the flow from past future. So are we riding on the leaf now? When you die, do you fall off now? You can say that all points upstream from the leaf are the past, downstream the future. Yeah. <laughs> but is that leaf only the present for humans now? Meaning? Humans make units to define and observe time, which is how we know that this leaf is the present. I like how, like, all of his friends are, like, super, like, <laughs> I don't know, they're super heavy thinkers. Like, everybody is. Like, 
Like, holy shit, is this a conversation that regular people have? <laughs> dude, you ever thought about, like, what is time, man? Oh, dude, I don't know, like, it's like a river, and I think we're, we're a leaf, and, uh, that's all I got so far. I think I need some more pot to figure out the rest. <laughs> But if every living thing in the universe went extinct, nothing would exist to observe, observe the present, yeah? In that case, where would the present go, yeah? Was well, something like God or the will of the universe observe it? But what if God is a four dimensional being who can move through, freely through time, yeah? Uh. If God is the one who decides the present, then won't our present move with him, yeah? <laughs> this is hard. Like my penis! So what you're saying is that the present is subjective to the observer. If we go with that assumption, then the past and the future also depend on the observing, yeah? If the if Ferris were to use a time machine to travel back one week, then Kiyoma and Darwin's Nyan's present would become Ferris' future, yeah? I guess that makes sense. How does the leaf model reflect that difference, yeah? And the Dar no, neither Darwin nor I have an answer to that. Perhaps no one ha nobody has an answer. It's like the collapse of causality thing that Carisu mentioned. Does that mean that time machines and time travel are impossible after all? A certain jellified test subjects physically travel as far back as 1921. Anyway, if every if anything if everything depends on the observer, then clocks are meaningless now. Yeah. Fun times fly and hard times drag now. Yeah. In other words, the flow of time changes depending on your point of view now. Yeah. Speaking of which, as you grow older, it feels like time starts to flow faster, doesn't it? Janet's Law. I never heard of that. Janet's Law. Perspective on the passage of time proposed by psychologist Janet. For some reason, as one ages, time seems to pass by more quickly. For example, one year is one seventh of a seven year old's life, but only one seventh, seventieth of a seven year old's life. By this reason, the subjective length of time is inversely proportional to age. But it's all psychological, really. It's not really changing. I wonder why, wonder why that is, though. Interesting. Paris thinks about this stuff sometimes now. I think. I think time might not be s something as simple as a river, yeah. Yeah, the more you think about it, the more complicated it gets. Strict definition of time, similar to the question of where is the self, is one of humanity's eternal questions. Countless renowned scholars have left this question unanswered. There's no way amateurs like us can answer it. There's one thing I can do. <laughs> Emails, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah? Fret not. Though physics and philosophy may deny us, our machines has made time travel possible. Am I correct, Taru? Yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah! Fuck yeah! Yeah, looks like you guys have kicked reason to the curb, yeah. <laughs> but Ferris wants to, wants to use the time machine too, yeah, get it, please! Sure, I'll let you use as much as you want, Ferris, down, please. You, then use me as much as you want, please! Really, yeah? Then it's a promise, yeah? No, oh, don't decide things on your own! Ferris springs up with joy and hugs Dara's rat rotund body. That's all it takes to make Dara look like he's died and gone to heaven. <laughs> That's it. I can die happy now. I don't care anymore. I can get struck by lightning now. I don't care. Kill me now! <laughs> this is the best my life is ever going to get. After killing some time at May Queen, I leave Dara and head back to the lab. Nick, the only person there is Mary. She's working on a costume. Hi, Mary. Hey, you're, you're like a housewife. Burning the midnight oil to bring a little more money home. Eh, midnight oil? Are we eating? <laughs> Sorry, kids these days. Besides, so she doesn't charge for her costumes. Seems like she's understood the rest of what I said. It's just a joke, anyway. Hobbies should just be hobbies, you know? It makes me happy to see someone wearing a costume I made. You want to become a designer? Come to think of it, Miri has never talked about her future. No way, it's too hard. What is your dream? Mine is to destroy the system and plunge the world into chaos and kill everyone on Earth. <laughs> um, Ishii wants us to keep hanging out in the lab. What? You want to be a lab man forever? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but this lab has no interest in profit. You'll, you'll always be hurting for food. You know, Korean, we have six lab members now. Isn't it amazing? Me and Ishii never expected we'd grow this big. That's a sudden change of topic. Uh, wait, so... Are we recounting Moeka again? They weren't around for that, right? Am I just assuming that she is? Like, because I told everybody about it? For some reason, she's puffing out her chest in pride. It's all because Miyushi's become your hostage. 
No, that has nothing to do with it. I tricked every last one of you into joining my... with my ma masterful manipulations. Ma -ha -ha. You shouldn't say things like that. Besides, you didn't trick me. That's true. You came of your own volition. She joined the lab without ever, without my ever asking. When she appeared in the doorway and offered to join, I thought she was a goddess sent from heaven. Agreed. Can we use she still be your hostage? Is that a joke or a serious question? I can't tell. <laughs> Is that what you want? Well... Miriam drops the costume in her hand, and then she smiles shyly. Nee. Maybe it is. Such a maskist. I had no idea. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> but I mean, as long as I'm your hostage, most you won't be lonely, and neither will Green. Eh. I... I see. Sometimes Miriam throws me off my game. <laughs> but if that's her reason for staying in the lab, then I'm happy. I better get going. Mary stands up and starts putting out way her various sewing tools. Mary. Hmm? Wanted to get something to eat on the way back. My treat. Really? You never treat me. Ha ha ha. I'm in a good mood today. Then how about Kitchen Jiro? There Mitch Cutler is some god tier. Should get no argument from me. Just leave it to me. Yay! I love you, Green. Yushi's really happy. Well, at least she's easy to please. <laughs> Just give her food. The way to me, Yushi's heart is through her tummy. Here I die for kitchen for kit for kitchen Dero. After that, I, I'll see her safely to the station. Yay! I like seeing Miri happy. I spend the next morning doing laundry at the nearby laundromat. When I return to the lab just past noon, Daro, Miri, and Greasy are all assembled. I've also got more mail. Ferris. Catastrophe, <laughs> nya. I told you it's too late, nya. Too late? What are you talking about? You haven't told me anything. What you talking about, Ferris? What you talk about? <laughs> Thanks for coming on a set in on a Saturday. Your devotion to science makes me proud. Yeah. Chris is decides deeply. It's the middle of summer, but instead of going on vacation, I'm stuck in this sauna with a bunch of pervs. Where did I go wrong? It's really giving us a verbal beatdown. Ripe your tears, experimental you experiment in loving girl with a sing without a single friend. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> Besides, you're the one who told us to be here. Indeed, but the one who obeyed my orders and round time was you. <laughs> you know, Chris John is actually a very, very honest and hardworking girl. That's what Miyushi thinks. Mary smiles. She eats some nuggets from M <laughs> McD's. Okay, what? Come on, what do they? What do they call in here? It stands for McDingle Face. <laughs> it, it stands for McDoodle Day. McDoodly do known doodly. <laughs> a fast food hamburger chain boasting market top market share based in America. Ah, uh, does it? Ah, uh, that, that's their spinoff. It's just, just McD's. I was hoping to be like, sure for Mickey, Mickey Dingle. Mickey Ding Doodly. That's what makes her so adorable. Eh, uh, what? How can this girl say something like that while eating a nugget? <laughs> a nugget? You're a nugget. <laughs> Don't let it bother you. That's just Muriel's nature. I've been here with her for a long time, so I'm used to it. A Yuri flag. I, I get it. <laughs> Please unget it. Here, Christian, have a nugget. <laughs> have a chicken nugget. <laughs> That's one of Nico's favorite words to say. Uh, thanks. <laughs> While listening to their heartwarming banter, I put my I gotta put my laundry on the on the table. However, don't put that there. It's filthy. I just washed them. Like I care. What kind of guy puts his underwear on a girl's face? Have some decency. If that is my underwear, just say then just say so. W what? <laughs> I'm not interested at all. Come on, guys. No more talking about underwear. Maybe she's trying to eat here, okay? How can you say that when you're still shoveling nuggets in your mouth? Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> I like to imagine Mary makes funny noises when she eats. Yum, yum, yum. Don't interrupt me. I end up putting my laundry into the changing room. As I explained to Dar yesterday, I have no thing about the results of our experiments. D emails have, been, have too many uncertain variables. We can never be sure what will happen when we send one. It's not like we can do anything about that. After all, the result is up to whoever receives the mail. Of course, you can analyze the recipient's psychology and you might be able to man manipulate them into doing what you want. Though, that might be a bit too much for Yo-He and underwear here. Under underwear here. <laughs> you just wanted to say underwear. Uh, you just wanted to say underwear, didn't you? Underwear aside, the fact is that D mail is still far from complete. I need more reliable time machine before I can expose CERN the organization and blend the world, in, the world into chaos. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I called you here today. The purpose of today's roundtable conference is... Another roundtable? <laughs> Do you want a roundtable conference that, that much? At least go buy a roundtable. Well, everyone agrees that Chris John, the round table is in our heart. <laughs> <laughs> and now Mira's eating something else. She's like, she's already finished her nuggets and now she's back to munching on her little donut thingy. <laughs> Mira, you're. Mira san, you're really innocent, but you shouldn't take everything out of so seriously. Really? The round table doesn't matter now. More importantly, the purpose of today's meeting is to explore methods of true physical time travel, not just Demir, with the objective of sending someone to the past like CERN has. Don't be ridiculous. That was fast. She's glaring me even harder than she was during the whole underwear thing. Sir has the best equipment in the world, and after, even after nine years, I still haven't succeeded. We can't possibly hope to accomplish something like that. <laughs> you'll become a- you'll become Jello Green! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. I would like- I would just stick with the message thing, you know? I think it's a little better just fucking around. <laughs> you know, maybe just- Maybe just use it on those moments where I'm like, oh shit, I forgot my car keys or something like that. Send send a message five minutes beforehand, all of a sudden, I'm fucking on time for wherever the hell I'm going, you know? Sounds kind of like Jiro Froggy. Why do those things get popular anyway? Is that like a Tamagashi joke? A series of plus straps featuring an ugly yet cute ugly frog character which became a fad among high school school girls in Shibuya one year ago. After the Shibuya earthquake, the series was canceled and the popularity faded rapidly. Okay, I guess not. This isn't a laughing matter. Is it too early to give up? Haven't we discussed succeeded with D-Mail, the first in human history? Well, we're not the first. Didn't CERN do it before us? Shut up. <laughs> Humanity's first time traveling email, for we who have achieved that miracle. Nothing is impossible. So space just cop makes us confidence. Anyway, wasn't it just a coincidence that we discovered D-Mail? We still haven't figured out what's functioning as a lifter. We just need to figure that out. That out, don't we? It's futile. How do we solve a problem that even CERN can't figure out? If you can't set the destination, then you don't know where you'll you'll leap to. I'll pass on leaping into deep space, thanks. <laughs> that is a problem. If you can't control where you end up, your time machine is worthless. And then you'll end up just becoming jelly and stuck in a fucking wall or a table or inside motion rigging. Oh god, why every time, every time it's me. <laughs> Wait a second. We don't send the destination when we send an email, yet it still arrives where it's supposed to. How do you explain that? Now you mention it. You sent the email, the mail address, right? Isn't that enough? It is? I don't think a phone signal can receive, be received from millions of kilometers away. I bet you get a busy signal or something. <laughs> Stare at my phone. Maybe our cell phones are acting like black holes and white holes. It's a white hole. The reverse of a black hole. While nothing can escape a black hole, everything is ejected from a white hole. This is a white hole is hinted at theoretically, but actual proof is impossible. They can never be. They have never been observed. Oh, okay. God, everything is theories. This is like with modern physics. It seems like. Should you speculate like that? You have zero basis. Is it possible that we form that we form a wormhole? No wormholes have ever been, been confirmed to exist. I groan. Grisu and Dara fall silent. The problem has them stumped too. Mira's the only one smiling. She probably doesn't understand. It is just smiling because she feels like it. <laughs> because that's just what Miri does. In any case, the whole hard truth is that D-mails arrive precisely when we, when and where we want them to. We're ahead of certain in that regard. Now we can apply D-mail technology to physical time travel. But with D-mails, can only send 36 bytes of data. No way you can send a whole person with that kind of limit. limit. Same problem that CERN is having and the reason their subjects turn to jelly men. If you want to become a... Come chill, look around, I'm not stopping you. <laughs> Calling the fate of CERN's researchers makes my skin crawl. Curve black holes, ring singularity, super gravitational space time distortions. If you can adjust the lifter's volume of electronic dis injection, el electron dis injection, you might be able to make the ring singularities naked. But even CERN is having a hard time controlling the lifter. Even if we do figure out what's functioning as the lifter in our time machine, I doubt we'll be able to solve the problem easily. Meaning that at present, we can only send a mere 36 bytes of data. With how much data there is in the human, a human body. I bet it's more than an exabyte. That's a big number, I think. Very, very big. Yep. <laughs> 10 to the 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. That's huge. It'd be best to leave physical transfer aside for now. Sending data through time is an amazing feat by itself. We should be satisfied with what we got. Sending data through time is enough, huh? Such a pessimism is unbecoming of a scientist sworn to uncover the secrets of the universe. I'm 
telling you to know your limits. If you're going to uncover the secrets of the universe, you need personnel, equipment, and funding to rival Sirens. Why don't we do the lottery thing again? That worked out well. <laughs> it's one thing to set lofty goals, but this improvised lab has no res resources to speak of. I've been thinking, maybe we should bring the phone wave to a proper research institution and trust it to a specialist. Sirens keeping their time machine research top secret, so if we make an official announcement, it'll benefit the future of mankind. If we make an official announcement, the organization will become aware of my existence. Oh, come on! I'm being serious here! This isn't the top of your childish... And we've hacked into CERN. Those heartless battlers, bastards will do anything, even experiment on human beings. Behind them is a power greater than all the nations of Earth. If we make the phone wave research exchange public, they might have us erased. You watch too many movies. <laughs> I don't know, though. I mean, if based on what John Tudor's saying, the CERN it really does end up taking over the world or whatever. It could kind of be true that... You know, if they're becoming this, uh, you know, overseeing power. The name Committee of 300 appeared in the actual CERN documents. Yeah, but... Carice's tone weakens. She's kind of scared. If they find out about our hacking, they'll seriously have us killed. I didn't I didn't make any mistakes that could give us away, of course. Also, and this is the biggest problem. I lower my voice and look at each of them hard, each of them one in turn. If we go public, we won't be able to do cool stuff with emails anymore. <laughs> Why you? <laughs> <laughs> no way I'm giving us such an awesome machine. I'm Yogi Kyoda, and these eight times just rule space and time. What I desire is, that's right, chaos! Chaos! This guy's hopeless, but it's in quick. <laughs> she keeps doing anime. She keeps whipping out otaku phrases, doesn't she? <laughs> They're gonna, she's gonna get another look from everybody. Quotation from a popular manga about death notes. Oh! Spoken by the protagonist in reference to the, his female accomplice. Original quote, this girl's hopeless. I've been saying quick. Used to express exasperation. Oh, I didn't... I've seen Death Note. I I didn't... Uh, I didn't realize that was a, that was a thing. <laughs> Referring to the, that kind of ditzy girl, right? Who was, like, in love with him. That girl was fucking crazy. And yet, for some reason, everybody was willing to die for her. Eh? <laughs> hmm? Eh? Uh. <laughs> Everybody freeze. <laughs> Christina, are you an at chat? Shut up, I'm not okay. Christina gives me her sharpest glare yet. Her eyes are so cold, my, my ch spine turns to ice. I nod and swallow what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, that reminds me, Dar, have you made any progress hacking to CERN? He did say it would take time to learn how to use the IBM 5100, but I know he's coming to the lab every day to work on it. His monitor always displays some kind of program, and his fingers are always busy on the keyboard. Yeah, right now I'm coming CERN's massive database. It would take years to read it all. For now, I've passed everything that looks important to Mikise, Mikise Shi for translation. Basically, I've gone as deep as I can go. CERN belongs to me now. Thank goodness you're on my side. If only you weren't so weak to seduction. <laughs> Christina, report on the status of these translations. Can you stop talking like that? It's pretentious and annoying as hell. <laughs> Hell, star! <laughs> Mira takes a cute idol like pose and smiles for some reason. <laughs> um, question, it's a great childhood friend. I promise I'll get used to how he talks eventually. I just hope it doesn't take 10 years. So you're saying you want to stay with me for 10 years? In other words, you want to work at this lab for the rest of your. It was sarcasm, get it? Sarcasm! Oh. <laughs> nah. Give me your report, Christina. If you don't, I'll call you an at Chandler. <laughs> Didn't you hear me the first time? She glares at me again. My blood goes cold. I'm working on the translation when I have time, but so far I haven't seen anything new about time travel. Looks like Sarah is struggling to find a solution. Maybe they'll have to wait another 24 years, like Keter said. Dar, are any other results? Well, it looks like CERN is in the middle of a big project, so the LHC is at full operation. I'm trying to see if I can cut in and make... Maybe use it secretly. What? No way. This is stunned. Honestly, so am I. Is that is that amazing? It's not amazing. It's downright outrageous. Super hacker, what a monster! <laughs> Again, another. A quote from a classic manga about glass mass. Used to express amazement at someone's incredible skills. Glass mass. Glass mask. What is that? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you guys in the comments will be like, Oh my god, nigga, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will know, though. <laughs> Christina, are you doing that on purpose? Uh, 
doing what? She's an at Chandler, no doubt about it. Anyway, I'm just doing it for last. Not like we have any reason to do use the LHC. Sounds like things are going smoothly. When do you begin stage three of this operation? What's well, stage three? Sir's most secret forbidden domain. We're going to free the darkness that's hidden inside. In Japanese, please. In IB the IBM 5100 database, I'm asking if you start hacking it yet. Dar frowns. We can't, remember? We said all we needed was, has, was an IBM 5100 of our own. That's right, that's the problem. We can't do anything without one. Huh? Oh! 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 Oh my god! Whoa! Oh shit! Oh my, I was like, I was waiting, it's like, something's gonna happen. Like, I had to have changed something. Lukaku is, seems to be the same. Everything seems the same. What's different? I didn't get the IBM 5100. Oh my god! Again, this feeling of disconnect. The conversation isn't making sense. But I got you an IBM 5100. You haven't, haven't started working on it yet. Oh, you got one? When? Uh-oh. Puzzled, I look at Kurisu and Miyuri. Miyuri looks confused, like always. Kurisu meets my eyes and shrugs her shoulders. First, I, first I've heard of it. Impossible! That just can't be! I dash into the development room. The IBM 5100 I bought from Yanabe Ashi Shrine should be on the shelf inside. It's in a cardboard box and weighs 25 kilos, too heavy for a single person to carry. But when I go to look, it's gone. It's no longer where I left it. The IBM 5100 was right here. Where'd it go? Everyone looks at me in surprise. Why are you staring at me like that? The legendary PC that was donated to Yanabayashi Shrine. You've seen it. You remember? Remember? I don't remember. Donated not Yanabayashi Shrine? That's stupid. Sure, we're, sure you weren't hallucinating? It's hot these days. Despair drags me down like quicksand. Can't hack that database without the IBM 5100. Who stole it? The organization, CERN? Oh, come on, man. Oh, sometimes I feel like, I do feel like sometimes Akabe is too fucking slow to figure this shit out. Like, come on. It's obvious, right? The fact that they don't know what it, that they don't even know anything about it should be clear from the get-go. Oh, that thing I just did that changed time earlier must have fucked things up. So there's a possibility. Maybe they know they're hacking. Stole the IBM 51 for the lab. No, no, no. If they stole the IBM 5100 of the lab, they can't steal my Aaron Dara's memories of it. What happened? Kiryu Moeka. I should check with her first. Could someone other than Moeka have stolen the IBM 5200? I said the possibilities. Come on, man. Get figured out. It's not that hard. Next thing that comes to mind is. Don't tell me it was John Teeter. Of course, Teeter's goal was to obtain an IBM 5100, and I have already contacted him several times. But how did he get my personal information? I'm trying to decide whether I should send the email, the mail, or Crazy tells me to calm down. High school, high, high school girl's chiding me. She dares make a fool of Hyoin Kyomna. Irritated, I explained the purpose of the IBM 5200, and now I keep to obtain one. During that time, I also sent Moika a mail for confirmation. I got an IBM 5200, did you know? Hmm. Hmm. The IBM... 5100 may disappear as a result of changes someone made to the past. Oh, so you believe me? From my perspective, all the d emails we, we sent her so far were trivial. Um, there's that one we sent when we, we first realized the only child was a time machine, right? The one that said Ocarina is a perv? During the preliminary d email experiments, I sent dozens to Akabe's phone, but they were all ins insubstantial, so I don't think they could have changed the past. I sent two of them when I was trying to win the, win the one against Ferris. There was one more, the first mail Akabe sent accidentally that I, th that said I was dead. From my perspective, we went set, went, we sent several more. You mean how said, you sent the winning lot of six numbers, and how Luca jumped on a ticket with those numbers but didn't win? But nobody aside from Akabe remembers him sending it. But I showed you guys afterwards, it was in my phone's arrival history. We were so close. Is that all? No, there's more. Moika and Lukaku, he sent a D-mail. All right, that's what you claim, but Hishida saw Miri saw, and I don't remember either of those. Ow, oh, Miri's getting a headache. <laughs> Already told you guys, I'm the one who keeps his memories after the world changes. So, according to your perspective, when did the IBM 5100 disappear? Did it just happen? What's last you remember seeing it in the lab? Well, I put my index finger to my forehead and search for my memories. IBM 5100. IBM 5100. 
Sure, it was August 3rd. I remember it being on the lab on August 3rd. R what the? Russia. That's from Russia, right? I don't know about Russia or those cute dolls. I've never been. Uh, what? Me oh, memories of the self. I got an achievement. Oh, I got it. So, let's see. What are you talking about? Who's Joyce on? We'd have an urgent meeting tomorrow, so all of us assemble at one meeting. It's mandatory be sure to come. What is beyond the wall? What will happen when we cross it? We saw that one. Looking for an IBN 5102. We should exchange information. That was, that was from ages ago. But see, I don't see a message to uh, to part-time warrior anywhere. So where, oh my God. So I can't answer her either. I'm sure it was August 3rd. I remember being in the lab on August 3rd. Are you certain? I think so. So many things have happened. My memories are, ju are a jumble. Let's go over the events which led me to obtaining the IBM 5100. Oh, okay, so. We haven't used it in a while, have we? Or ha we haven't really talked about it in a while. So we have done a number of things, so it's possible maybe it wasn't the, the Lakaku thing. It could have been something before that. Heard that Ferris is a retro PC maniac who knew about the IBM 5100. Learned that nine years ago, don who she donated her IBM 5100 to Yanabayashi Shrine, asked Lakaku's death for help, and she learned, let me the IBM 5100 just like that, mission complete. We could just go back there and see if it's still there. At the very least, Ferris and Lukaku should remember what happened. I should give them a call. First up is Lukaku. As I slowly scroll through my phone. Slowly. Come on. <laughs> Hello, Akabe san. Um, please forget what you saw the other day. I saw something. My cosplay. Uh, oh, that. I was just Lukaku getting embarrassed for no reason. <laughs> well, importantly, I have questions about the IBM 5100. The IBM Beam 5. The IBM 5100. About nine years ago, someone dedicated a retro PC on Bayashi Shrine. That's the one. Know anything? <laughs> yes. He remembers. Lukaku remembers. Just a while ago, I came to the shrine looking for it, didn't I? And then I asked your old man, he let me borrow it, right? Eh? I, I don't. Right? I don't remember anything like that. What? This is another effect of changing the past. The IBM 5100 was at the shrine, though, right? Is it there now? Um, I don't know the details. Where are you now? Is your old man there? No. Damn, okay. Sorry for calling you so suddenly. No problem. I'm sorry that I couldn't help. The IBM 5100 was at Yanabayashi Shrine. That's a fact. Lukaku knew that. Need to check if it's still there or not. Oh gosh, I hope it's not something like like her dad is dead or something. No. Like somehow that. Because the mom ate more vegetables, she went to the shop to get more vegetables and then was in a car accident and the dad died or some crazy banana shit. Need to check and see if it's still there or not. The IBM 5100 have returned to, returned to the shrine. Did that huge retro PC sprout legs and trot back? <laughs> That's just silly. But gel bananas have teleported out of the microwave. Moika also instantly moved from the lab to somewhere else. Considering that it's entirely possible the same thing happened to the IBM 5200, maybe I should go check it later. Next is Ferris. By the way, I haven't told Ferris my phone number. I'm afraid that if I talk to her on the phone, she'll drag me into her usual nonsense. Isn't that... What are you talking about? I have a message from her already, don't I? Yeah, it's right there. Is, it, is the text number different from the phone number? There's only one option. Miri, I need to talk, contact Ferris. What? Miri's eating an eclair. She must have st st stuck some in the fridge when I wasn't looking. Oh, no green, they're delicious. <coughs> now she mentions that Karisu and Dara are eating too. <laughs> you people don't have a care in the world, do you? There's some crazy stuff happening here. Or it could all just be in your head. No need to panic. It's not just in my head. It's not. You need Ferris job or something? I wonder if she's working today. Ferris Dawn's off today. <laughs> well done, Dara. You know Ferris is scheduled better than, than her co-worker. Thanks for stalking her. Now where'd you title a Ferris stalker? <laughs> you know her phone number, right? See if she can't, you can't get a hold of her. Okay. Mary takes out her phone and makes a call. After a short wait, Mary smiles. Fer Ferris John? Come on. <laughs> Good afternoon, Yan. It's my Yushi, Yan. <laughs> Yan. Yan, Yan? <laughs> All right, this is the first time Kreezu has heard Miri speak Nyan Nyanian. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. Bother you in your day off. Oh, Green said he wants to talk to you about something. Want to talk to him? Huh? 
You know, Okarine? Kioma? Who's Kioma? Uh, hell are they talking about? By the way, Ferris is the only person who wants who calls me by my true name, Yoin Kiona. I'm thankful I'm thankful for that, but she still drives me crazy. <laughs> I hit you over, okay? <laughs> Here we go, Green. Ha ha ha. little funny green. Do you wear your little ears everywhere you go? <laughs> I take Mary's phone. Ferris's face is displayed on the LCB. L C D. She's wearing cat ears, even though it's, it's her day off. It's me, Yoin Kioma. Yeah, how unusual for Yukiyama to contact me, yeah. So I need to ask you. Long ago, you donated a retro PC to Yanabayashi Shrine, am I mistaken? Yeah. What? What's Nyan supposed to mean, yeah? <laughs> oh crap, I start to talk like her. <laughs> Kur Kurisu bursts out laughing. Looks like she heard. <laughs> it means you're right, yeah. Though I don't. Though I didn't know it was called IBM 5100 until recently, yeah. What? Why recently? Darn, yeah, told me, yeah. So that's it. At any rate, Ferris has confirmed the IBM 5100 was at Yanabayashi Shrine. So the IBM 5100 disappeared from the lab after I retrieved it. No, Kreese and the others lost their memories of bringing it back to the lab, so I'm considering two possibilities. One, I went to the shrine but didn't acquire the IBM 5100, it's still at the shrine. Two, before I went to the shrine, someone moved the IBM 5100 somewhere else. Looks like I have to go to the shrine after all. So about the retro PC, yeah? Ah, uh, nothing. Ferris was a retro PC maniac, wasn't she? Let's just make sure. Do you have any other information on the IBM 5100? It's a super rare PC. As Char Charisma build made, I said you have a strong network in Akiba, correct? I'd like you use that network and search for any IBM 5100s in Akiba now. We only need to find one. Doesn't matter if it's the one I found at the shrine. Hmm, yeah. I can look, but for a price, yeah. A price? You're trying to strike a deal? That's unexpected. Let's hear it. I want you to come over to Ferris Ferris's apartment, yeah. Where is his apartment of yours? Quickly prepare a memo pad and write down the address Ferris recites. Oh, so you live in Akiva. I'll make things quick. Judging by the address, it should be right next to the station. I'll be waiting, yeah. Uh. <laughs> For what exactly? Turn my always phone and stand up from the couch. I stop by Yanabashi Shrine and then head to Ferris's place. Well, look over my shoulder with a frown. Ah! Why are you guys tagging along? <laughs> Ah, uh, I was gonna go make babies with Ferris. Mary and Dara followed me even though I didn't ask them to come. Grisu stayed back at the lab. Nishi's never been to Ferris John's place. I thought I'd like to visit once. <laughs> I mean, it's Ferris John's home. No way I'm missing this. Might be bad to take Ferris, the Ferris stalker along. A really bad idea. Well, whatever. If Ferris has a problem with it, then we can send him away when we get there. No matter, no, nothing else matters as long as I get to Ferris to search for an IBM 5100. Of course, if the IBM 5100 is a Yanabayashi shrine, then that won't even be necessary. Stop by the shrine, but Lukaku's not there. Guess he was out from when we answered the phone earlier. Oh, oh, good, okay, your dad's still there. Hi, Aizen. Got no other choice but to go to the humble shrine office and press the intercom button. Luca's dad comes out. When I ask, try asking him if the IBM 1500 was donated to the shrine, he answers, it cer certainly was. But after he tries looking for it, he says he can't find it anywhere. He has no idea where it went. I ask if he lent me the IBM 1500 before, but that event is gone from his memory. Hmm, okay. What's going on here? Heading towards Ferris's place, I analyze the situation. The IBM 5200 has disappeared from the lab, even though it was just there a few days ago. It's also disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine. It's like some god is messing with me, moving it every time I get close. The d mails definitely has something to do with this. I can only imagine to begin to imagine how the past has changed. At any rate, it looks like we'll have to rely on Ferris. The usual weekend crowd packs the front of Akiba Station. Girls dressed in maid outfits and school uniforms diligently distribute flyers to the passerbys. I appreciate their, their efforts in this god-awful heat. Hmm? After a few me melanin, melanin boosting move moments walking in the sun, I come to a sudden stop. What's wrong? Caught sight of a woman squatting on the side of the road, hugging her knees and typing on her phone. Uh, it's gotta be lab mem number five, Kir Kiryu Moika. Wait, is she still lab men? Yuri and Dara don't remember her. Well, whatever. What luck? Just think I need to ask her. Run up to Moeka. Hey, Shining Finger. Dragging her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. Oh, maybe. The thing is, I when we, I went back and edited it, I, I kind of looked. It didn't seem like uh, Okabe checked in Moeka's message that he, she sent to herself in the past. Like he was, like I thought he said he was supposed to do. It sounded like he, she was like, 
She typed her message and then we were good. It's not like I checked and see to see what it was. Right? So maybe she sent her herself, go get the IBM 5100 in Yanabayashi Shrine before uh, uh, Akabe does. Drawing her attention, but she's stuck in her own little world. IBN, 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 M. Gone, gone, gone. Why is it gone? Why can't I find it? Is it really in this town? Don't tell me it's already. Are you listening, Shining Finger? Should be there. Should be here. It has to be. FB said so. No reaction. Again with this FB. That's what the person. That's that was. She was the one, right, that brought that up when I was like talking on the phone. It's like, who are you talking to, FB? FB. And who would that be? Who would that FB? <laughs> okay, I guess she didn't find it. Gary Omoeka! Omoeka stops muttering. She finally looks up. Actually, she just looks at my feet. <laughs> Oka Okabe kun! I got. I got achievement unlocked. 25% CG achievement. Oh, I got 25% of all the CGs in the game, I guess. Did you take the IBM 5100 from the lab? Mary and Dara look at look at Scott's at me, and I but I ignore them. I don't want to believe that it was you, but you are a fellow lab man after all. But did you you but well, you did not display an unhealthy attention to that attachment to that computer. So was it you? You found an IBM 5100? I found one, but it's gone missing. Missing? Don't worry, I won't report you to the police as long as you return it. That is. Normally express expressionless Moeka frowns in bewilderment. You. Don't remember, do you? Wigger shakes her head faintly. She looks down and begins operating her phone to high speed. You're not making any sense. Please explain. Did you really find IBM 5100? Where? She really doesn't know. If the IBM 5100 had been stolen from the lab, then Moika would be my first suspect. If the IBM 5100 disappeared from Yanabayashi Shrine, not the lab. Can't have been Moika's doing. So it was the it was the D mail. Or perhaps it was the work of CERN. I'm sorry, Finger. I squat in front of Mueka and bow my head. I suspected you, a lab man, a comrade. I'm the worst sort of man. Hit me, please, I don't mind. There's one thing I want you to know. In my long years running from the lab or the organization, I've grown unable to trust anyone. Why? Why did I have to be born with these gifts that others are so so covet? Once I start to suspect us, everyone looks suspicious. No matter how many comrades gather around me, I always feel alone. Pitiful, aren't I? Just tell me about the IBM 51 I don't fucking care about your stupid bullshit! Did you just ignore my entire speech? Hey, uh, Ocarine, you're doing your improv in the middle of the street. Has, has the heat gone to your head? <laughs> so Moika doesn't know I had the IBM 5100. And judging by her speech, how, uh, how, uh, uh. I feel like I'm getting farther and farther away from my goal. I've been thinking, Moika Shonjur is pretty, isn't she? She's got a nice figure, and she's tall, too. She looked great in one of my costumes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? For a second, I doubt my ears. Approach Miyuri. You met Moeka before. Sure have. When? I got Miyuri by the shoulders to shake her. Her head bounces back and forth. Uh, <laughs> um, when you brought her to the lab. Uh, so that's turned back to normal again. I did. Oh, do you remember her? Sure, we met at the lab. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is getting this is getting confusing. <laughs> I need like a little timeline thing like they did in Zero Escape, so I can figure out what the fuck is what sh going where and how and hoodly doodly ba doodly doodly. After Moika sent her email, Mayar Daru and Karisu behaved as if they had never met her before. And now both, both Miyuri and Daru know her, so that means Moika's past was reconstructed again. Given the timing, it has to be Lukaku's email that did it. Oh, well, but all we did was tell his mother to eat lots of vegetables. How can that be related to the lab mem's knowledge of Moika? Is this another example of the butterfly effect? The cause doesn't match the effect at all. Oh, okay, we need to get going. First child's waiting, remember? That's true. Let's think about wake up issue later. Right now, we should look for the address written on the memo pad. By the way, Mary, what's Ferris's real name? Whoa, Ocarine, hold on there. Ferris Town's name is Ferris Nyan She doesn't have any other names. Don't break my fantasy, man. Face reality, Daru. Ferris Nyan is just a professional name. Oh, you're the worst. Why do you have to crush my dreams like that, man? Quit grumbling. You, can't just, you just can't handle the truth. <laughs> you can't handle the truth. Well, Mary, don't you know? Mm, it's okay for me to tell you. 
Not like you to took a vow of secrecy, right? Besides, we're visiting her home, so we'll soon find out. We'll find out soon enough. Oh, I guess you're right. I just promise you'll keep it a secret, okay? Like for the masters who come to make queen. I nod. Okay, first John's real name is Akia Ramiho John. Akia Ramiho, okay. Yon, 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 not listening. Or covers ears and drowns out the sound. Akia. Same care. The same characters as in, as in Akia Bar. Appropriate. Okay. Holy balls! That's a big building. That station turned out to be a high rise apartment building next to the UPX. Ah! <laughs> wow! Awesome! Wait, seriously? She, she lives here? We stand out there for a while, standing wide eyed at the towering building before us. Oh! According to the address for SKA, she lives on the top floor. All the way up there. She lives, she lives in like the penthouse or something? Did she, I think she said something before that sort of suggested that she came from, came from a well-to-do family, didn't she? Right, oh, like, yeah, about her dad. Did you get the wrong address? No, I wouldn't make such a stupid mistake. Don't tell me Ferris is working for the organization. <laughs> I quickly scanned the area. No suspicious figures in sight. Does she have men in black waiting to haul us out off to a re-education camp? Nice illusion, man. Truth is stranger than fiction. Besides, don't you think it would be super moe if Ferris, Ferris Town turned out to be a rich girl character? <laughs> nice delusion yourself, man. Anyway, let's go in. We call the top floor of room via, via intercom. Agree by the voice of an elderly man. He said, let's uh, in immediately once I introduce myself as Yo and Kyoma. Oh, all right. It was like we're walking into a trap, but I can't turn back now. Wow. You know, the ele elevator, the elderly man from the intercom is there to lead us inside. It turns out to be a silver-haired gentleman in a tuxedo. Uh, oh, I fucking... That's right, she mentioned a butler. That's what... A real-life butler? He does indeed look like a stereotypical butler. If it's the bill so well, you wouldn't think he was anything else. It'd be funny if Ferris comes out of, like, lingerie or something like that, and she's like... <laughs> then she sees the other two and, like... Oh, what the hell? There's only supposed to be... There's only supposed to be freaking... There's only supposed to be yoing, guys. Oh, great. <laughs> And he brought the fat one too. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Damn it! You two need to get out of here now. <laughs> There's gonna be some serious love making going on. Oh, m mistress, Mr. Hill and Kyoma and his friends have arrived. Bella leads us into a room. Ferris is standing before a large window with a panoramic view of Akiba. Thanks, K thanks, Kurokinya. I'd never seen her wear anything else other than the usual maid uniform, so it was refreshing to see her in plain clothes. But she still got the cat ears on. But why does she still have her cat ears on? <laughs> Want to ask? I can't help but wonder. But I restrain myself. If I, if I did ask, Ferris would just say something like, I, I was born with these, yeah. Nya nya mushi dar nya kim tunya? I knew it. She wanted him alone. Ferris' eyes twinkle when, he's, when she sees Dar Mayuri and Dara behind me. Ferris, John, good afternoon, nya Mmm, casual Ferris, Don, too cute. I silence the mouth breathing Daru by introducing his ribs to my elbow. Follow me. If you don't want them here, I'll send them home. No, for off my back, Nya. Everyone's welcome, Nya. <laughs> Wait, you talk like that even in your own home? What do you mean, Nya? Gonna play dumb, Akia Ramiho. <laughs> Ferris is Ferris, Nya. <laughs> Bubbles! Uh, <laughs> so, so bored. Japanese TV shows are all boring, aren't they? Then again, while well, I watch in America are news and dramas. I agree with you there. Media in this country is controlled by the organization. It's the key to the Operation Stupidify Japan. <laughs> uh, Maria's gonna get mad at me. She's gonna be like, You said you keep it a secret. I think. Whatever. Or, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Fine. What I really want to know is how you get to live in a luxury apartment in Akiba's best district. Look around the room again. Interior design and furnishings give a very refined impression. It's elegant without being ostentatious. Actually, it's kind of like a model home. The thing suggests that this room is lived in, no dirty clothes, no used dishware, not even a speck of dust. That butler, maybe in some real rip maids. If there's a butler, there have to be maids, right? Must be constantly cleaning up. Speaking of the butler, he's disappeared. I didn't even notice him leave. <laughs> he faded in the shadows like Batman. It's good to be a master butler if he can move so quietly. <laughs> I'm very sneaky, sir. Ferris, just who are you? Like I said, Ferris, 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 yeah. Ferris says so nonchalantly. 
Don't play dumb. You don't explain yourself, I'm leaving. Uh, how arrogant. We're the ones who came here to ask Ferriston for a favor, aren't we? Hmm, yeah. Well, if you must know. This land originally belongs to my family now. Huh? What'd you just say? The, this land originally belonged to her family. Oh, is this why you're Akiya-san? Yuri's exclamations connect the dots in my head. Akiya? You mean you're descend from the hereditary landholders of Akiyabara? Ferris nods with a proud expression. Oh my god. Wow. So you are. You're fucking loaded. Oh my god. So she really is a rich girl character. By the way, Ferris is a considerable influence on Akiyabara's development, yeah. Ferris wigg wiggles, wriggles her slender waist and makes a gesture like a cat washing its face. It was Ferris who gave us the development brought board to actually promote Moe culture in Akibanya. Wow, that's amazing! I've been going to development reading since I was little, Nya. So basically, the chaotic changes in Akiba are a result of this cat girl's whims. <laughs> what a monster! <laughs> but please keep all this a secret, Nya. Ferris' expression suddenly darkens. Why? You want to know, Nya? Ferris approached me with a bewitching expression. That's because... Ferris gently strokes my cheek with her cool, slender fingers. Fingers. I feel myself falling under her spell. And then... She grins. Ferris is Ferris now! <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, Kagura! How dare you make a fool of me? Well, my face can treat me the same as always, Nyan. Dara starts fist-pumping when he sees Ferris' cutesy, cutesy ass. Oh, <laughs> fist like Yeah! 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 <laughs> He starts pelvic thrusting like those, those kids in Do Danganronpa. <laughs> yeah! Ah! <laughs> Is Darwin Yan okay? Oh, yes, he just gets like this on it. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Stop humping the air, Daru. I can't. That's just. It's a reflex. I'll treat you. I'll treat you at full force! <laughs> While pumping his fist. <laughs> I'm gonna fist you good! Oh, God. This is your fan too. Your base spirit is really amazing. Miradar might have fallen for her charms, but I not I. I don't care about any of this. I oh, thrust my finger at Ferris. Do not defy me, Ferris Nyan Yan, or I'll paint your expensive wallpaper with blood. You call me to your home so you can show off your status and try to gain leverage on our negotiations, but it's futile. But you are for you are dealing with the insane man scientist Yo and Kyoma. What kind of reason is that? Ha, perfect. Now Ferris will tremble and fear and beg for my forgiveness. Or so I thought, but instead she looks at me with gleaming eyes. Yeah, Ferris likes lo lo less forceful men, yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what did you say? <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Look at me, and she's like, oh my god. I wanted to threaten her, not seduce her. Is Ferris a masochist? Honestly, Ferris didn't want to talk so much about herself, yeah. Plus, when they learn who I am, stop seeing me as Ferris, yeah. They only see me see the Akia name. Ferris and Akio Rumiya want to be seen as separate per persons, Nya. There's nothing to separate. You are Ferris Nya Nya, are you not? Nya? Yeah. What? For once I, once I agree with you, Okarim, whenever we, she speaks non Nya and wears her cat hair, she's Ferris Don. Ferris being overly self conscious, Ferris. I don't know, Nya. I'm serious. To me, you will always be the unbeatable cat eared maid. Nya, yeah, thanks, Kyoma. Why is she thanking me? Now she's probably admiring my incredible ma magnanimity. Bah! <laughs> I am such a doodle. Now then, let's finish this Kaido gossip and get down to business. Paris, you said there would be a price to exchange and help. And for your, for your help requiring I'm in video hunter, what is your price? Do not test the limits on my goodwill. If I unseal my right arm, and the, the, the dragon of the darkness flame will come out and consume you all. And everything will be destroyed and nothing will remain, just so you know. Papa Mina! Ferris wants the cat ears sticking out of her head. This cat ears have the power to negate all of your other powers. Nyan Nyan clear. When Kyoma's powers on these yeah, Ferris will stop it, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have mentioned my hand to Ferris. <laughs> Ferris' most terrifying power is one known as Dubbing Ted. It allows her to steal other people's stories and add them to her own. I'm the one who named it, of course. The number 10 doesn't really mean it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll tell you, Nya. Yeah. My price. Ferris struggles. But I noticed something. Her eyes aren't smiling. It's to let me use your time machine, yeah. Yes, I had a feeling that was it. Here you said at May Queen yesterday, you built, you built a time machine. Indeed, we have created the first successful time machine in human history. Uh, so was the first. Don't misunderstand. We call it a time machine because it's not the kind you can hop into and fly to wherever you want. 
All you can do is send a 36-byte email to someone's phone in the past. But even that is worthy of a Nobel Prize in physics. It's transcendent, transcendental and super invention that will alter the horse of human history forever. Send an email to someone in the past? That's awesome. Ferris wants to use it, yeah. Ferris jumps up and down with joy. Time machine is our lab's greatest secret. If you want to use it, then you must become a lab man. A lab man? What's that, yeah? Well, it means you get to be part of our club. It means you will be super happy if Ferris Jam became a lab man. Same here. Please do it! <laughs> that would be all right! <laughs> all right! Yeah! <laughs> please join. I'm begging here, please. I'm on my knees. Tell me you love me. How will I become a lab member, yeah? There's no contract. We will only require that you perform the blood oath. The, the blood oath? The window is closed, but a gust of wind blows the room. It's coming from the air conditioner. <laughs> but outside the window, I see rain clouds over, oh, cover the sky. I hear the rumbling of thunder inside my brain. <laughs> There's day enough. I just desire to join the hallowed order of Latinus, and that code passed down in the high ages from an age long ago forgotten. Pledge thy flesh, thy bone, then thy boobs, and thy soul to the, the grail of heaven, and swear fealty everlasting. This duty, fulfill the go God shall grant thee thy Latinum number. I didn't understand a word of that. Oh no, what do I do? You should never eat any blood loaf. Does that mean you should not let me? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, me, Yushi. It's just Oak Green's, Oak Green's usual nonsense. Oh, I guess everything's fine then. Thank goodness. Very well, now I shall take the blood oath. Yeah. <laughs> With her excision, Ferris grabs a small knife on top of her desk and suddenly slashes it against her wrist. Mmm. She's like, mmm, yeah. No, oh, my god. It just like sh like blood is just shooting out of her. <laughs> oh my god! I think you cut a fucking serious blood vessel. It's all right. This is for me. This is for science. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear! And then the butler comes up. Oh good god! It's gonna take forever to get blood out of those drapes. Blood just just continues to seep around the room like a fucking sprinkler. Like, <laughs> like oh my god! Stop! What have you done? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, is that a paper knife? <laughs> yeah, Dora's <is> right, yeah. <laughs> ah, she surprised me. Oh my god. I poo myself. Clear my throat, pull myself together. We're up here. So I miss I missed you as Lab Mem 7. Perfect. Now I can so now I can use a time machine, yeah? Indeed, but not a word to anyone. Death to traitors, that's the law of the lab. It is? <laughs> no, Okri made it up just now. Thanks, Kiyoma. Ferris hugs me by the neck. And then she licks my ear. She's like, <laughs> a sweet, a very sweet aroma tickle, tickles my nose. Something very soft tickles my. Oh, green, you jerk! I help make the phone wave too. <laughs> but what? Really? Th then Dar, then Darnyan too. Ferris flies over to Daru. <laughs> I'm glad you so happy, oh, Green. What did she do? She actually lick him or something? Ha <laughs> ha! Mira, you really are innocent. Huh? I got my phone and put it in my ear. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I've wrapped up. I've wrapped her around my finger. What did you expect? She's just a 17 year old girl. That cat girl thinks she's bargained with me to appease her lust for the mankind's dream. The forbidden fruit that is the time machine. But she's dancing to the tune of Yo and Gyoma. <laughs> Why did I agree to pay her price, you ask? That should be obvious. I twist my lips into a grin. My razor sharp shark teeth are probably glistening right now. Damn, I wish I had shark teeth. <laughs> That'd be so badass. That curl, cat girl shall be our guinea pig. My monster. What? I'm a monster. What a terrible thing to say. Not that you're wrong. Exactly. Ah ha! Ah ha! Ah! We use her to try to send her through time. Our demon experiments have reached a standstill. We refuse to become a subject. Muri and Daro are too dumb to be useful. We have to experiment and awake on Lukaku, but we still need more data. Along comes Ferris. She's going to provide me with an IV5200 and new data. Two birds with one stone. Right. Ferris thinks she's using us, but it is we who are using her. She's but a moth drawn to my brilliant flame. Mwah! As we've le planned, we are proceeding to the next phase of the experiment. This is the choice of Steingate. Air Sai Kongru. Someone taps me on the shoulder and I put away my phone. After that, they blow into my ear. Ah! Who are you talking to now? Bear's behind me. She must have finished servicing Daru while I was still on the phone. No doubt she heard everything. It's too late, Ferris Nyan Nyan. You've already taken the blood oath. If you break its ruin, we'll follow you. There is no escape. Okay, yeah. So where's the time machine, yeah? She's certainly in a hurry. 
Time machine, his name is the phone wave. Makes such a change. By the way, it is in our lab. This time, we'll make use of the phone wave. Makes such a change. It's an original function. Send D mail by remote control. Parisu should still be in the lab. I'll leave the setup to her. I asked Ferris where she wants the email to go. She says she's sending it to her father 10 years ago. I take down his email address. Destination is April 3rd, 2000. Oh, has to be at 8 a.m. that day, so we use an online calculator and factor leap years, resulting in 86,168 hours. Um, so that means it has to go keep going for 86,000 seconds. We'll fit when it's trying to get tired. It doesn't actually have to run the entire duration. The previous experiments have confirmed that. The reaches the passive it sends as soon as the discharge begins. Of course, with the butterfly effect, the remaining seconds should be canceled out. The, t the experiment never happened. The fact that the email was sent is erased, leaving behind only the mail in, in the recipient's phone. At least that's what our experiments have shown so far. Now let's call Kurisu. Hello! It's me. What's the situation? She got on me! Of course she did. Miyushi and I are the only ones who can deal with her, your act, you know. Again? Hello? Joe and Gilma, don't hang up. Oh, it's Okabe. I was sure it was a prank call. Shows you my number, doesn't it? You were talking crazy, so I got scared and hung up. In other words, you figure the insanity of Yoin Kyoma. Well, I suppose you can't be blamed for. She up again! Again! <laughs> like I said, we're the only ones who can put up with you. I quickly... I quickly radiate. Hello! Zagabi Rotaro. Sorry, but could you mess with the phone wave? Nice to change the settings a little, please. Well, why didn't you just say so? You're going to use a phone wave? I don't want to anger get the guy downstairs, though. We're out of form of a critical experiment. Understand, assistant, Mr. Braun might yell at you, but the small sacrifice will bring mankind's dream, the time machine, to fruition. You're really irresponsible, you know that? Well, I wish I said it too. I tell her Ferris dad's email mail address, and I have set, ever set the timer. Okay, it's ready. All right, thanks, wait a bit. Turn to Ferris. Finish writing what you want to send. I already told her the phone way you need to change the email address. Ferris nods. What did you write? You sure something that will change the past? Well... What happened to her usual confidence? It's embarrassing, yeah. Trade secret, yeah. Oh, come on. Please tell me we're not going to let her just do, like, send it to the past without looking at it. I'm going to be so pissed. Circuit so nonsense. This is science. Unless we know what you're sending, we can't verify the results. What's that supposed to mean? No one said anything about science, yeah. I'm using time machine for myself, not science, yeah. That's not fair. You're one to talk. <laughs> Dar, you horny fool. Are you siding with Ferris? You call yourself a super hacker. Ferris covers her phone with her body. Looks like she plans on hiding it to the bitter end. Should we help the experiment? Hey, Kabe, how long are we gonna make, are you gonna make me wait? And patient Karisu nag nags me through the phone. Don't rush me, damn it! Um, Okuri, it's probably something private, so I don't think you should pry. But even Miyuri is on Ferris' side. She was like this Moeka, too. Ah, it's bad. I thought I had Ferris in the palm of my hand. Was I dancing near her tune all along? Kabe, if you're not gonna say anything, I'm hanging up. Wait, fine, I don't even know what makes such a change. Oh, uh, this is a bad idea. Why do we... God, why do we do this? This is just asking for pain. I'm, we're gonna have no idea, because she's not gonna remember, so we're gonna have no idea what she did. Damn it, I submitted to the cat girl. Start is starting. I know Ferris after Kri getting Kreese's report. Ferris puts your finger on the send button, and... Click ya! <laughs> wow, the divergence went down even more. As it is in this phase, I exhale slowly into my eyes. All right, world, show me your new form. Man, I wish I what kind of I knew what kind of mail Ferris sent. First things first, I'm still in her room. When I look out the window, Akiba sprawls greets me. I scan the room. Oh, they're still there. Okay, card open. Oh no, another virus card. Not so fast, John. Aw, uh, you look. You took three link cards, right? And now I got three virus cards, right? Miyushi's in trouble. <laughs> what are they doing? Three of them are just sitting around the table playing some kind of game. Still have a terminal car. We can turn the tables next next turn. Yeah, it's too late for that, yeah. Ferris is going to use terminal card virus to check her, yeah. So which is Miyushi's last virus card, yeah? Oh no! You're a monster, Ferris, Don. Hey, could you wait one note to do more two or three more turns, please? Please, yeah. 
Yeah, <laughs> not even if you try to copycat Ferris. Yeah. No way. Yuri puts both her fingers through both her eyes as if to mind tears. Anyway, it looks like they're playing right at Axis Battlers. It happened again. Reading Steiner. I'm the only one the person in the world who keeps his memories after the past changes. Ferris' email worked. That's why the three of them are now playing cards instead of waiting for Ferris to press the button. Ferris never even sent the email. If I look on her phone, there won't be any record of her in her said history. Even if I demand that she tell me what she sent, she won't be able to answer because the very fact that she sent it has been erased. The only trace of the email is in the recipient's phone, namely Ferris Town's phone, de father's phone, ten years ago. Oh. That ten year old mail day was most likely erased long ago, so I don't think I, we can check. I figure out what changed the hard way. Let's start looking for differences. What do we got? <laughs> I like the, the, the subject. Yeah, there's a cockroach. Gah, gah, help me. I'll teach you the art, the, the Halloween art of cockroach slaying. Then you'll have no fear, fear nothing. <laughs> okay, guys. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I know these videos are probably going on too long. I keep going over an hour. It's just too long. I, I, I I'm so hooked to it. Like, it's like I, I don't want to stop and. I mean, it's hard to find a stopping place, but it's just, and it's also just so fucking engaging. I don't know. I, ah, uh, just enjoying it so much. It's like I want to know what happens, <laughs> but I must end it for here for now. This video's gotten way too long. Anyway, like a favorite if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe now if you're not already to become a piggy ping one aboard the SSLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys. Stay classy.